All right, let's start taking a look at my tune for my father. So in this tune, we're in a tuning that goes E, C, D, G, A, D from low to high. And that is like a C6-9 chord that's been inverted with the E in the bass. And with this tune, uh, I decided I wanted that tuning a little bit higher, so I put a capo on. So let's take, talk a little bit about capos and, and how to get them on the fretboard and all. So uh, with For My Father, this is going to be on the third fret. And uh, I like to use uh, shove capos, that's what this is here. And uh, one of the main reasons is they actually make a banjo capo that's really great as well. And I like to use that with some different tunings. And uh, they also just have a really great design. This, there's a little roller here, so it makes it real smooth to get on and off with this uh, design. All right, and then when you put the, the capo on, you want to be right behind the fret wire as best you can. So just like that. And with this uh, shove capo, you tighten it up if you need to with this little uh, dial here. So you want to make sure you're getting enough pressure on the strings. If it's too loose, you'll get some buzzing. You hear that? So you just got to tighten it up. Okay, so with the capo on now, this is now like an E flat 6 9 that's been inverted. And we have a G in the bass. Okay. All right, so let's start this tune uh, by looking at the intro. Most of this tune is in 3-4 time, but the intro is actually in 4-4. Four, four. Uh, so we'll start there, get through that, let's check it out. So we're going to start by the second fret on the second string, and we're going to grab the fifth, fourth, third, and second strings all together. Okay? We're going to slide that up to the fifth fret. And if you'd like, you can sort of arpeggiate that chord. Sometimes I'll do it that way, where I just individually sort of go through the, the strings rather than just grabbing it all at once. Just kind of a roll. So that's thumb, index, middle, ring. Like that. Okay? But you can also just grab it if you're not quite comfortable with that technique yet. It's something you can work on, though. All right. We come back. Third fret, second string, second fret, fourth string. Grab all four together, and then we're going to go a little arpeggiation here. So you start by going four, three, and one, two. So that's ring finger in middle, like that. Three, four, five. And that's the end. Next, we're going to go four, three, slide the three up to five on the second string. Okay. Okay. Grab the first string with the ring finger. this now, index finger, second fret, fifth string, ring finger on the fourth fret, uh, fourth string, and then pinky on the fifth fret of the second string. Also, I should mention that now that I've got the capo on, I'm referring to these frets as if this is one, two, three, four, five. So I'm not saying four, five, six, seven, eight like that. All right, I should probably point that out. So count this now as zero. Here's one, two, three, four, five, as I'm talking about frets, okay? So second fret, fifth string, Fourth fret, fourth string, open third string, pinkies on the fifth fret of the second. Have that. Okay. Grab those again. So this is five, four, three, and two together. Same sort of arpeggiation as before. So four, three, one, two, three, four, five. 